Hello, and welcome to the Growing Our Family podcast, Pregnancy Edition, where we'll discuss topics ranging from your very first positive test all the way through delivery. I'm your host, Brittany, and I'm a new mom to a beautiful baby boy. Throughout my pregnancy, I did hours of research on everything that came my way. Join me on a weekly chat where I'll share my knowledge and personal experiences with all of you. You are listening to Episode 5, Baby Registries. Now that Baby's R Us is closed, a lot of moms are wondering where the best place to register is. You don't have to be limited to just one retailer. I have compiled a list of the top baby registries to make your life a little bit easier. I actually had three registries, Amazon, Target, and Baby List. I feel that each one played a specific role. Amazon was the primary registry that gifts were purchased from, while Target was a close second. Most of the items bought from Target were actually in-store, and I would recommend having at least one in-store registry for anyone who prefers physically shopping or may not be so comfortable with computers, aka any grandparents or um, some like aunts or uncles that may not be super tech savvy. Baby list is where I linked all of my registries, so I only had to send out one of those uh, like baby registry card inserts inside my um, shower invites. You can't really go wrong with any of the following retailers, and it really just comes down to personal preference. So here's my review of some of the top ones. The first one is Amazon, and Amazon's amazing because you can add countless items to your registry without even having to put pants on or leave your home. Although a lot of other retailers are allowing you to register online, none of them have the vast selection that you can get from Amazon. Additionally, registry items do not have to be baby related. We've registered for like throw pillows, um, a small blanket to go over my rocking chair, lamps for the baby room, an area rug, and even like breastfeeding support books for me to read um, before the baby got here. And all of those items we could add to the registry whereas some of the other stores that are baby-specific may not have all of those things um, in stock for you to add. So for convenience, Amazon has over 100 million Prime members, and that doesn't even include the non-Prime users. This means that most of the people looking at your registry have or have used Amazon before. People like familiarity and are more likely to order from your registry if they've already shopped there in the past. Amazon makes it so easy to order items now with their one-click purchase and quick delivery and where else can you get same day or even one to two day delivery at no additional cost. Most of the items I received as gifts were from my Amazon registry, so at the very least, I would suggest it as a secondary if you prefer not to use it as your primary. The completion discount. The best thing about Amazon's baby registry is you get a 10% completion discount or 15% if you're already a Prime member, and you can use this on two separate orders. The discount window starts at 60 days before your due date and ends 60 days after your due date. One of the downsides is not everything is eligible for the completion discount, unlike other retailers. When you add items to your registry, check your registry list to see if it says completion discount eligible. And some items I found, like the Dr. Brown's bottles I added, were eligible for a completion discount on only certain packages. So one said like gift set package for Dr. Brown's bottles, and that one was eligible, but like the basic feeding set was not. And it was really weird and you just have to pay more attention to what you're adding because those sets were almost identical. I think one had like a cleaning brush and one didn't and they were pretty much the same exact price. So just keep an eye out. Most of the things that you want will have an eligible completion discount item. Another great perk to the Amazon registry is their welcome box and you can receive a free full box of goodies and there's just a few limitations to qualify, um, but I have a how-to guide on my blog that you can check out for exactly how to get your welcome box. Um, Amazon makes it a little bit tricky. You just have to jump through a couple hoops, but I mean, you can do it all within probably an hour um, 
and get your welcome box sent on its way. So the boxes vary based off of what they have in stock, but a common box includes a swaddle bib. Um, I got an event bottle. Um, I got some diapers, wipes, baby lotion, soaps, and shampoo, a small like diaper carrying case, a gender neutral onesie, and a pacifier too. So they, the box was probably the best one out of all of the registries that I got the welcome gifts from. Uh, they just probably included the most amount of things and they value their welcome box at $35. And I definitely think with all the things listed in there, it was right around $35 worth of stuff. So um, I definitely would say just checking it out and looking into what you have to do to get your welcome box. So you have um, 90 days after your due date to return items to Amazon for store credit, and the purchaser will not know you have returned the item. Amazon also has this uh, great program. It's the Universal Registry, and you can install the Amazon Assistant and add registry items from any store. So it's an add-on to your browser. And you just go to whatever store that you want to go to, say you want like a onesie from like Old Navy or Gap, um, and you can just select it and add it to your Amazon baby registry for people to purchase from. You also don't have to feel bad about adding big ticket items to your Amazon registry. They now give you the option for group gifting so people can contribute money towards the higher cost items. You can also mark an item as must-have or even private, and a great reason to mark it as private is, um, for me, like, I added nursing bras and stuff to my registry, which I didn't really expect people to buy for me, but I still wanted the completion discount, so you can just mark the little box that says private so no one else can see you, but uh, you're still eligible for the discount. Amazon also includes a super nice checklist to give you ideas on what to add to your registry, which I found to be super helpful. So you can uh, select, you know, like a category like travel, and it'll bring up car seats and strollers and a whole bunch of other items. And then you can actually scroll through like the top items on Amazon right there in their registry checklist. So I thought that was super awesome, especially for first time parents where you're not quite sure what you need or what you should add to the registry, it gives you some really great ideas. So the next registry I'm going to talk about is Target, which I also had. And Target also um, is super convenient because it has over 1,800 locations in the U.S., which means there's a good chance that you or your friends and family live close to one. Everyone's heard of Target, and to be honest, moms love shopping at Target. I mean, there's memes about it, and... You'll, you've seen them where everyone talks about how, you know, moms will just go into Target and spend hours there, which is totally something that I can relate to. I love Target. I love their selection. And I just think that it's a great option because your friends and family can shop your registry during just their normal Target visits. In my experience, I'm more likely to buy multiple add-on items if I'm shopping at a store compared to online. When shopping online, you can see the exact total every time you add an item and it tends to limit like your spending. When you're shopping in a store, you have your spending budget, you know, you're like, oh, I'll spend like $50 or $100 or whatever you want. And you'll get like an item that's right around that price. But then as you're checking out, you see that adorable baby blanket that is just like so soft or you see the cute little onesie with the elephants on it and it's just so small and so cute. And the next thing you know, you have a basket full of items and the urge to have another baby. So don't even get me started on that. (laughs) But uh, everyone knows that and you just see all the cute little baby stuff and you're just like, oh, I remember when my baby was a small, like, you know. So I just think it's better to have both um, an online and in-store shopping and Target offers both of those. The other thing I noticed is that people are huge procrastinators. A good portion of my registry items were purchased two to three days before my baby shower online, and so many items from my Target registry were actually purchased the day before or even the day of my shower in the store. 
So this is a great thing about Target uh, or even just having dual registries. Those who don't have time to run to the store can order online, but those who miss the shipping deadline can quickly just run to the store for last minute gifts. For the completion discount, you'll get your coupon eight weeks before your due date and it expires six months after your due date. So you can use the coupon in addition to your 5% red card discount, or you can use up to 10 gift cards per purchase. They send you two 15% off coupons, and one is for in-store and one is for online shopping. Once you create your registry, you can stop into any Target store to pick up your welcome bag, and it has coupons and samples in there for both you and baby, but the contents also change based off of availability. So in my bag specifically, I got a Dr. Brown's 4-ounce bottle, Pampers diapers, uh, Pampers travel wipes, a sample of the draft baby detergent, a pacifier, baby lotion, baby shampoo, up and up diaper sample, which is the Target brand, um, stretch mark cream, a small travel bag, and then various coupons to like Baby Gannick, 7th Generation, Target, you know, a couple other places like that. You can add anything to your registry and the completion discount works on almost anything in the store, which is a great perk to Target. They also supply you with a checklist to help you determine what to add to your registry. And if you select a certain topic like car seats, it brings up all of the car seats that they have in stock and you can scroll through, check prices, and look at reviews right there. You can access the checklist through the button on the top menu bar once you're inside like your registry manager. You can return gifts up to a year after your due date. Um, You can use the universal registry to add items from anywhere and you can use the group gifting options for pricier items on your list. So overall, I think Target really has the best of both worlds. They have a great online Um, shopping. They have great in-store shopping. They have a ton of stores all over and it's just a very common place for just people to shop at in general. So I definitely thought that was a good decision to register there. It seemed like a lot of people um, liked my Target registry. All right, so the next store is probably the most similar to Baby's RS and that is Bye Bye Baby. And they make shopping so easy with a personal assistant. So if you schedule an appointment for your baby registry, you can get a one-on-one assistant to uh, help you with building your registry. So a lot of women love Bye Bye Baby specifically because it's a baby-only store. So you walk in and everything in that store has to do with babies. And they typically have a much greater selection like in stock compared to other general retailers such as Target where they have a baby section of the store but they have all types of home goods and groceries and everything else in there versus you walk into Bye Bye Baby everything has to do with babies and it can all go on your registry and it just makes it really easy. Also they are owned by Bed Bath & Beyond so you may know how amazing their coupons can be. The downside is that they only have 135 stores, so it may be hard to find a local place to shop and pick up your free goodies. So this is really the only reason I didn't register at Bye Bye Baby is because there isn't one anywhere near. I'd have to travel to the next state over um, for the next closest Bye Bye Baby store. So for the completion discount, You get a 15% off coupon in the mail several weeks before the baby's due date, and you can use this one in store. And then they'll also send you a digital coupon that you can use online a couple of weeks before the due date. For the welcome box, um, you can get that after starting your registry, and you have to actually go in to the Bye Bye Baby store to pick up your free goodie bag. As always, the contents depend on what they have in stock. But a typical bag might include honest diapers, honest wipes, a pacifier, bib, baby on board sign, a bottle, and one of the bags I saw had like a Tommy Tippy bottle. Uh, They have lotion samples, formula, baby wash and shampoo, and a Bye Bye Baby coupon. 
Bye Bye Baby is probably the most high tech out of all the registry options. So some of the best features that I saw include an interactive checklist that keeps track of the items you've already added and things you may be missing from your registry. A registry analyzer, which was super cool. They keep track of the average prices for all the items on your registry, and it'll let you know if you're missing items from a certain price range. So this is always a good idea to have multiple different items in each price range so it's easy for friends and family to stay in budget. And if you only have high price items, people may feel uncomfortable and they'll ultimately purchase something outside of your registry, you know, if they don't really feel comfortable spending like $100 on a stroller. And then on the other side, if you have like close family or grandparents that want to spend more money on you, it can be hard for them if they have to purchase like 10 to 20 items to reach the same price point as if they were just to buy you like a crib or a nice stroller. So I think this was a really cool feature. So it just lets you know like, hey, you're kind of missing items in the $20 range. You should add some more. Uh, They also offer Ask a Friend. So Bye Bye Baby gives you the option to invite friends and family to suggest items. This can be so great for first-time parents that may not know what the best items are or even brands are. So you can ask someone who recently had a baby what items were invaluable so you can prepare for really anything that comes your way. They also offer referral rewards. So for each person who registers with Bye Bye Baby, you'll get a $25 off $100 in-store coupon. So if you have a friend that is pregnant or has a baby registry, you know, maybe just say, hey, I'm thinking of um, signing up for Bye Bye Baby and uh, can, you know, can you like refer me so that way they can get a deal and then maybe you can do that for someone else in the future so you get the good deal. And they also offer free shipping rewards. So if you exceed $1,500 in gifts purchased, which I know seems like a lot of money, but if you have grandparents and just a lot of family or, you know, even if you buy a lot of stuff off your registry, it's not that hard to reach that uh, price. If you reach the $1,500, you'll actually get free shipping for baby's first year. So That was really cool, um, especially because in those first like three months, you don't really want to leave the house. So if you ever need anything, it's easy just to order something and you have free shipping. Out of all the registries, I think Bye Bye Baby was definitely the closest in comparison to Baby's RS, which was always like a, you know, one of the most popular ones. So the next store is Walmart that I looked at. And You are almost guaranteed to have a Walmart close by. They have over 11,000 stores worldwide and even 400 in Canada. So a lot of these stores are pretty limited in other countries. So um, if you're up in Canada, this might be a good one, especially if you have family that lives in the U.S. and Canada. They also offer free two-day shipping on qualified orders over $35 And this makes things a little bit easier too. Most people end up spending about $35. So the completion discount is the biggest downside to Walmart's baby registry because they don't have one. And this was crazy to, like, I had no idea they didn't even offer a completion discount. And this was reason enough for me to use a different registry, especially like one like Amazon that has most of the same products you could find at Walmart and you get free two-day shipping and the completion discount. So for the welcome box, uh, you can order that online after you create your registry, and then you just copy and paste the URL into the welcome box, like, homepage. So in the welcome box, you might get Pampers diapers, Palmer's stretch mark cream, a pacifier, Dr. Brown's bottles, uh, Lanosh freezer bags, And I know I say that word wrong. I don't actually know how to pronounce it correctly. It's L-A-N-S-I-N-O-H. So I always just said Lanosh when I first learned, and now I can't train my brain to say it the correct way. Uh, They also include diaper rash cream, formula, baby lotion, a white onesie, and some Aquaphor. So their welcome box is pretty good, but their completion discount is definitely lacking. So some of the other perks to using Walmart is they price match competitors. However, you can only price match one item per day. 
but they do offer free returns for store credit 90 days after your due date. Walmart also has an inspiration tab to help you decide what to add to your registry, and they have baby age ranges and categories that you can look through. So they also give you a checklist so you can have a basic idea of what to buy, and this includes suggestions for all categories like feeding, bathing, and clothes are some of the few. So overall, I think Walmart is probably my least favorite out of all the registries just because they're lacking some of the basic necessities like a completion discount that almost all other baby registries offer. And the final registry that I compared to, and I actually use this one, is Baby List. So the thing about Baby List is that you're not limited to one store. You can link whole registries like I did, or you can just add specific items from any store on the internet. And this includes like Etsy. So you can, you know, add on like handmade baby blankets and stuff, which is super cool. You can also request items such as a homemade meal, house cleaning, babysitting, used baby books or used baby clothes, or even dog walking. And you can also fill in your own like favor if you have something specific in mind. So this is a great option. We requested uh, used baby books as one of our registry items, and we got some really fun ones that you know, were passed down from like kid to kid and they were, you know, they were in pretty good condition, but it's just special to know that like, you know, you can tell your kid like, oh, your cousin read this book while they were growing up and loved it. So I really liked that aspect to it. I did find not a ton of people used those like favors. They didn't really gift them, but that might just be my friends or family. Um, Who knows? Other people might really love using those and sending those as gifts. For the completion discount, you get to start at 60 days before your due date and Babylist will send you a 10% coupon to buy the remaining items and it's valid for six months after your due date. Just note this coupon is only valid for items sold on babylist.com. So this, if you add something from Etsy or you add something from Walmart or Target to your baby list registry, it does not count for that. So I suggest like if you have a bunch of items that you want to add from Target, create a Target registry and then just link your registry to your baby list. So when you log on to babylist.com, you type in your name and at the very top it says, you know, so-and-so is also registered at Target or Amazon or wherever else. For the welcome box, um, you get this after you create your registry and you have to add three items. And this qualifies you to receive the Hello Baby box. And they do charge $5 for shipping, but I feel like I definitely got my money's worth with the items that came in my welcome box for the $5 that I had to pay. So in my specific welcome box, I got a Chico brand pacifier a bottle, Pampers diapers, Pampers wipes, some Drift laundry soap sample, uh, the Lanosh or Lanaso milk bags, <laughs> uh, some baby soap and shampoo, and then I also got coupons and registry card inserts, which were pretty cute, and I just added those into all of my baby shower invites. So for every item you add to your registry, Babylist will give multiple purchasing options, so you always get the best deal, which is really cool. They'll send you an alert when something is no longer available or the price changes so you can reevaluate. Although it's an amazing concept, most people have never heard of it and can be pretty wary of it. I probably had about five items purchased from my Babylist registry in total. They just, people just seem to prefer using well-known retailers for now, but I really hope that as Babylist becomes more popular, people will feel comfortable purchasing from their website. And I know, um, like for me personally, I had never heard it before I got pregnant, but now that I've used it and seen it, any of my friends from now on that use it, I will definitely feel comfortable. So I think, you know, it's growing quickly and um, with every registry that like is created it's probably slightly more well known so I definitely would give it a shot if this is something that interests you Um, at the very least I really enjoyed having somewhere to compile all of my registries and then some of the uh, like mismatch items that I added from like Etsy 
So I really hope this list help you decide on what registry or registries you want to go with. Although it may seem like a big decision now, people are going to want to help you out regardless of where you're registered. So good luck with your decision and happy shopping. So this week, I decided to talk about one of the more fun items that we had on our registry, and that is the Wubbinub pacifier. So have you guys seen these pacifiers? They are so adorable, and they have a little stuffed animal on the end. And if you don't know what I'm checking or what I'm talking about, uh, check out the link on my show notes and take a look because I'm sure you've seen them around. I never knew what they were called before we registered for one, um, but I had definitely seen them before and they are so cute. So not only are they adorable, but they also serve a purpose. At least I found a benefit to using them compared to a normal passy. So we have the giraffe and the monkey uh, like stuffed animals on the end. And these are the reasons why I love them besides just getting adorable photos. So first, they don't instantly fall to the floor when baby spits the pacifier out. My son likes to play a game where he spits his passy out at least four times before he'll actually take it. So I don't know why he does that, but he does. So with a normal pacifier, it almost always hits the floor before I can grab it at least one of those times. But with the web and up, it just kind of sits on his chest. So he actually has to hit it with his hand for it to like actually fall off onto the ground. The second, the weight of the stuffed animal keeps it from moving very far away from their mouth. So sometimes he can just relatch himself onto the pacifier without my help. And this is especially great for in the car when you can't really reach them and they spit it out and then they start yelling because they want their pacifier back and you can't reach them and now you just have a mad baby. So I've had it a few times where he's actually able to like spit it out and because it doesn't really move anywhere, um, they can kind of like reach their head down and just like relatch it themselves. And third, he loves to hold onto the legs and ears and tail and really anything he can get a hold of. And if your child likes to grab your hair or your necklace or clothes while they're eating, then they'll most likely love having this animal to hold while sucking on their pacifier. The only cons I have for this product is that it is a little pricey for a pacifier and the animal doesn't detach from the passy, so it makes washing it a little bit more difficult. Um, the way I do it is I just wash the full pacifier with all of his clothes on the delicate cycle with his like baby, uh, laundry soap and just let it air dry. And then after it's dried, I just use dish soap to clean the pacifier part off. But even though they're expensive, they are a lot harder to lose because of the animal attached. I don't think we really needed more than one, but the second was a gift and they're just so cute that it's really hard to resist. They make a great tag along gift, especially with like a gift card because most expecting parents have never heard of them or don't really know what they're called or just kind of forget to register for one because it's not really a necessity. So I, I got one with a gift card and it was just really cute to open up the gift card with a small little bag and it had this cute little pacifier in it and I thought it was adorable. The pacifier that it comes with is a Soothie which is the same brand that most hospitals use. So it's a really good pacifier. Um, I really like it all together and I'm super glad we got one as a gift. And I don't know if we would have ever bought one ourselves because I didn't really think there was a use to it besides the fact that it was really cute and we're pretty frugal, but I am really glad that we got a couple of them. And I love the photos of my son sucking on these pacifiers. So that's it for this week, and I just want to thank you all for joining us on Growing Our Family Pregnancy Podcast. Make sure to visit our website, growingourfamily.com, that's growing, O-U-R, family.com, to see today's show notes and product links. Also, don't forget to rate and subscribe on iTunes, Stitcher, or wherever you download your podcast so you always get the latest episodes. And if you're curious where you can find the podcast other than iTunes, Stitcher, or my website. If you just check out the pregnancy podcast tab on growingourfamily.com, it'll have a link to all of the different locations you can find the podcast. If you've had your baby or just want to learn more about life after delivery, check out the Growing Our Family Parenting Edition. Please join me next week for another episode. 